Hello everybody, it's Tryhard Sistel. Welcome to the show where I tell you about an anime and maybe even inspire you to watch some. This time, I tell you about the anime Kill la Kill. The story follows Ruko Matoi, who is on the search for the other half of her giant scissor blade that she beats the crap out of people with. She finds the other half, she finds her father's killer. Her search leads her to Honoji Academy, where the proud and fearless leader Satsuki Kiruin runs this crazy school. Satsuki-chan seems to have some answers for Ryuko. The students in the school wear Goku uniforms. These uniforms contain life fibers that unleash the body's special abilities. Your uniform's ranking and strength directly reflect your status in the academy. So say you are a club leader, you will have a higher star uniform than someone that isn't in a club and is a less than average student. That person may not have a uniform at all. I really like this ranking system, and it adds a lot to the story. The range of unique costumes for all these different characters, because of this ranking system, they're awesome. Kill a Kill is a fast, action-packed anime filled with fun characters. Really, like, I love them. I love all of them. Besides one, no, two bitches. I don't like them. But everybody else is really awesome, and now they hold, like, a little special place in my heart. Besides a few episodes, this anime never stops. It seems like every single time I watch it, there's a fight or explosion that leaves someone completely naked and flying through the sky. This show has cartoon body nudity. A lot of it. I would say that there is more nudity in the beginning of the series, but I just think I got used to the nakedness over time. There are some really questionable and uncomfortable parts, so if you're going to watch it, I do not suggest watching it with, like, your grandma or something. Or anybody else, for that matter. Unless you guys are cool like that, whatever. You have to be pretty cool <laughs> with each other. Watch my Kill a Kill first impressions video to find out why. <laughs> Every character in Kill a Kill has their own complete personality. There's quirky Mako-chan, there's determined Ryuko, and even Ryuko's Senketsu, her uniform, has a personality to love. I love him as much as he loves being ironed. Get behind my lapels, won't you, dear? <laughs> the relationship between Ryuko and her Senketsu is so endearing. It is the sweetest relationship anyone has ever had with a piece of clothing. Even in such an action-packed, humor-filled show, there is character development. And the story stays on track. Towards the final episode, some scenes did feel stretched out for time. However, for the most part, you can actually feel the love that went into making the show. The art and animation was so fun to watch. Music and sound effects enhanced the show. I really liked it, you guys. <laughs> Kill a Kill is a well-developed piece of work that has a bold personality. You will either hate this show, or you're gonna love it to bits. Don't let Kill a Kill's nakedness fool you. Underneath its over-the-top layers, it's actually a story about friendship, family, and fighting for what you believe in. It, it left me with a warm feeling in my heart, surprisingly. Do it. Go watch it. Just alone and away from other people. Considering story, art, animation, sound, characters, music, and overall enjoyment, I would give Kill a Kill four and a half stars out of five. Yep. Let us just know which anime you think would be a good fit for me. If you're wondering what to watch yourself, try out Kill a Kill, or choose an anime from the playlist link in the description of this video. I watch my anime legally on Funimation.com, Crunchyroll.com, and if those two don't have what I'm looking for, which is rare, then I check out Hulu or Netflix. Watch it on those websites. Support the people. Subscribe if you like seeing this face and click that thumbs up button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tryhard Sista. I'll see you guys next time.